She is known as the chimp lady, and for good reason. Jane Goodall has been studying the chimpanzees of Africa for almost half a century. Even before I could talk, I was watching earthworms and things, reading Dr. Doolittle books, wanting to learn the language of animals. In 1960, at the age of 26, she traveled to Africa where she fell in love with the chimpanzees of the Gombe Stream Game Reserve in Tanzania. Her research there provided an intimate portrait of these animals and produced much of what we know about their behavior. I suppose the first really significant uh, thing that the, that the world heard about was chimpanzees using and making tools. It was thought that only humans uh, did this and that this set us apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. Over time, Goodall and her team of researchers also showed how chimpanzees are similar to humans in other ways. The long-term supportive affectionate bonds between family members. The chimpanzee can live to be more than 50 years old. These bonds can last throughout life. Goodall's affection for chimpanzees and her desire to protect them from human encroachment led her to establish the Jane Goodall Institute. Its mission is to protect chimpanzees and their habitats. But Goodall says that despite the research and conservation efforts, the number of chimpanzees in Africa has continued to decline. When I began, there were somewhere between one and two million, and now 300,000 maximum. Goodall says the primary reason for the shrinking chimp population is the destruction of their habitat. One way to stop that, she says, is to address the needs of the people living in the nearby areas. How could you even try to save the chimpanzees in their little oasis of fertile forest when outside you have more people living than the land can support? In 1994, Goodall started the Take Care program. It partners with villagers to help create income opportunities so they won't poach or kill the chimpanzees. Because the villagers understand that we care about them as well as the chimpanzees, it's beginning to come around. Goodall believes that for conservation to work, it has to involve young people. So in 1990, she created Roots and Shoots, a program that helps young people worldwide become active in their communities. Basically, every group chooses three kinds of projects to make the world a better place. One to help people, one to help animals, including dogs and cats and pigs, and one to help um, the environment that we all share. Dr. Goodall writes about Take Care and her other efforts in her new book, Hope for Animals and Their World. But the book mostly focuses on the stories of people who, despite numerous obstacles, managed to save endangered species from the brink of extinction. One story involves the golden lion tamarin, the most endangered of primates in the Western Hemisphere. Conservationists created a captive breeding program that has eased the threat of extinction. It's a, such a beautiful little monkey. They're completely golden and they're so glorious. The success of this program is that they have been reintroduced back into the wild. At 75, Jane Goodall remains a champion of the world's wild animals. She travels nearly 300 days a year, spreading her message. And if we would just think about the consequences of the little choices we make, what we eat, where, buy, uh, how we interact with people, animals, the environment, then, you know, we start making small changes, and that can lead to the huge change that we must have. Change, says Jane Goodall, that has to start with ourselves, so we can better appreciate the connection between us and the natural world. Julie Tabo. VOA News, Washington. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two people.